We have information that downtown Chicago is the next target. And they're planning to detonate a dirty bomb. Do you have any idea how many people would die if an explosion of that magnitude were to occur in the city? We're evacuating as we speak. All right, Source Code there, starring Jake Gyllenhaal, is new in theaters this weekend. Is it a see it, a rent it, or a skip it? Movie critic for Fat Guys at the Movies.com, Kevin Carr, is here with the answer. Kevin, good morning. Good morning. How are you doing, Andy? Listen, I'm great. This is getting a lot of good buzz for yeah. Jake Gyllenhaal, an action movie, what you call speculative fiction. Yeah, it's not quite science fiction because, well, I mean, it has that sort of fantastic element to it, right. but it really deals with the human story behind it, so it's not as much about the tech as it is about the people. Right. And in it, he plays a guy who can relive the last eight minutes oh, of a voice. train yeah. ride right before it blows up. And the whole thing is, is he keeps oh, getting sorry. sent back so he can try to figure out who who set the bomb so he can uh, prevent a future okay, disaster. So we're, okay. in, in effect, like the Adjustment Bureau, sort of mm -hmm. seeing the same eight minutes over and over again, but from different perspectives. Yeah, well, yeah, and, and th this year we've got some great movies like Limitless and the Adjustment Bureau and now this, that, that do kind of roll in that speculative fiction realm. So it's a lot of good, some great acting, and it's it's a good movie. It sounds like a Matt Damon film to me. How does <laughs> Gyllenhaal do in this? Pretty good? Gyllenhaal does a great job, and uh, there's other good actors, Michelle Monaghan and Vera Farmiga. Uh, it's, it's, Duncan Jones does a great job kind of putting this together. Source code, would you say, Kevin, is see it, rent it, or skip it? It's a see it. Okay. Another good movie Every to see, another action flick for the weekend. Next up, Hop, which is uh, another live action and animation movie. Mm -hmm. uh, my kids already told me they want to go see it. It's about okay. Easter, right? Yeah. Well, it's funny. We don't have a whole lot of Easter. There's, there are Easter movies, but they're usually religious films. This is a, a, a secular Easter movie. It's about, about the bunny. The, about the Easter bunny. <laughs> That's right. And the Easter bunny, it's the, it's the, the Easter bunny's going to take over for his dad and become the next Easter bunny, but he doesn't want to. He wants to go and make a big... Uh, life as a, as a rock star in Hollywood, so he heads on out there. A little bit of a shaky story. It doesn't always make a whole lot of sense, but it's cute, you know. James Marsden's in it, and he's been in a few of these uh, movies where you combine the cartoons with the, I think Enchanted was one. He was Enchanted, in. yeah, and I really like James Marsden. He's, he really kind of is the glue that holds it together, and it's Russell Brand who plays the rap. I rabbit. thought that was his voice, Russell mm -hmm. Brand. All right, what would you say about Hop? Uh, see it, rent it, skip it. I'm going to say rent it. It's a cute movie, but for adults, they're going to be like, ah. <laughs> it's, worth, it's worth a red box rental. Maybe. All right, next up, Insidious. i got to tell you, this plot is fascinating to mm -hmm. me. Tell me about it. It's the story about a family whose son goes into a coma, and they don't know why, and they find out that, that, that sort of like there are these spirits haunting him and these ghosts that are surrounding him, and they're trying to figure out what's going on. It's a really creepy movie. It's directed by James Wan, who did the original uh, Saw film, and it just it, it, it uses this sort of 70s sensibility, uses this great uh, sound mix, and it uses these great effects of the ghost, and it's really quite scary. It's one of those creepy things that actually make, get, elicits a physical reaction from you. Oh, yeah, it has a lot of jump scares. It's, yeah. it's definitely worth checking. Take a date. She'll jump in your arms. Okay. Well, maybe not oh. you. You're <laughs> well, I can go with my wife. <laughs> All right, Insidious, see it, rent it, skip it, Kevin. I'm going to say see it. See it. All right. I like, I'm going to see that one. That looks good. Okay? All right. Trust, uh, starring Clive Owen, about an internet relationship mm -hmm. directed by David Schwimmer of Friends. Yeah. What's your view on this? Well, it's, it's actually opening in Columbus, and it's one of the few cities that's actually opening wide. It's like New York, L.A., and Columbus for, yeah. for some reason. And it's a really uh, creepy movie about a, a, a teenage girl who gets into a very inappropriate relationship online. It's intense. It's got some very emotional aspects to it. Uh, and, and it really kind of brings up the, the, the problems of online predators and, and, and relationships and who are your teens talking to. Yeah. So I think it's worth checking out for definitely for the for the parents to see if you know your kind of things are on your radar, uh, but it's it's and the performances are really good. All right, trust. Would you say see it, rent it, skip it, Kevin? I'm, I'm going to say rent it just because it may not be a run out to go see, but you know what? It's it's it's. You know, hey, you're going to be one of the first people to see it this weekend if you want to check That's it out. That's true, because it isn't opening wide, just a few select cities. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. All right, yeah. so you're pretty impressed with this flock, uh, crop of movies this weekend. It's been a good year so far for yeah. movies, and we got some good stuff this spring. All right, Kevin Carr from Fat Guys at the Movies.com. Thanks, buddy. Thank you.